the Big Ten Women's Tennis Tournament has been set, and obviously this is the last one, last iteration of one of these before they have like USC, UCLA, USC, Oregon, and Washington join next year, and it'll be played from April twenty fourth to April twenty eighth, and it'll be played at the University of Michigan. So all these times here are listed or in, listed in Eastern, and all the matches will be on the Big Ten Plus. By the way. So, yeah, forget about watching it on regular TV unless you have the Big Ten Plus. So, the 13th seed Michigan State will take on the 12th seed Rutgers at, at noon. The 11th seed Nebraska will take on the 14th seed Indiana at, at noon as well. The 8th seed Minnesota will take on the... I mean, the 19 Minnesota will take on the 8 seed Purdue at 10 a.m. The, obviously, the Illinois will take on either Michigan State or Rutgers at 10 a.m. The 7 seed Iowa will take on the 10, NC Penn State at 2 p.m. The 6 seed Maryland will take on either Nebraska or Indiana. Obviously, Michigan will take on the winner of the, of the Minnesota Purdue match at 10 a.m. The four seed Wisconsin will take on the winner of the Illinois match. The uh, like the Ohio State, the two seed will take on either Iowa or Penn State, while the three seed Northwestern will take on the winner of the Maryland match. And honestly, the winners of the Michigan and Wisconsin matches will play each other the next day at noon. And honestly, as a part of the semifinal, while the winners of the Ohio State and Northwestern matches will play at noon as well the next day. And honestly, both semifinal winners will take on each other the next day at noon. And I'm going to explain the importance, as we all know, the cut line is 42 teams. So right now, one, two, three, four, five teams will get in. That's Michigan, Ohio State, Wisconsin, Northwestern, and Illinois. Illinois is trying to stay in it, the tournament, like trying to keep themselves stay in it. Honestly, a bad loss would really hurt. Like the first round, like if they were to lose, like to a Rutgers or Michigan State, I think they're automatically out. But obviously, a loss against Wisconsin, I don't know, it would be enough to kick them out. But yeah, that's one of those I don't know deals. But if they were to win, obviously they would be in. And for those other teams like Maryland, Iowa, Purdue, Minnesota, Nebraska, Rutgers, Michigan State, Penn State, and Indiana, sorry, but the only way you're going to get in the big dance as an NCAA tournament is to win the conference tournament. And forget Wisconsin, Northwestern as being host sites. Ohio State's try to keep themselves the top 16, which I think they, they are safe from that as long as they don't. They don't lose before the championship. I think they're safe, but obviously, if they lose in the sem in the semifinals, then uh, it becomes a little bit hairy because, like, all the SEC teams are behind them, and even NC State's behind them. But I don't know how many points is that going to be enough to draw them, drop them down. But if they get to the championship match and they play in Michigan, then. We'll see what happens from there. And Michigan is trying to keep them, trying to play themselves up to like a two seed, because there's a difference between like taking on the 15 seed in the Sweet 16 and a 14 seed. And they're still they're going to host up to three rounds. It's a matter of matchups. And if you get like, and if you get to Elite Eight, I mean, you'll take on either a seven seed or a 10 seed. While if you're a three seed, you'll take on either a six or 11. An elite eight match because it really doesn't do anything for the final four match really it really doesn't and there's no way they're catching Michigan uh, Michigan's gonna catch Oklahoma State too many point difference points in difference so anyways if you like this content hit the like and subscribe button see you guys later on a road of 600 scars course ultimate goal it's a thousand more so money off this course like a video Comment video really helps YouTube algorithm so more people can see. 
Share the video does help as well so more people can watch. And if you're watching and not subscribed, hit subscribe button to free the notification bell as well.